Hey guys, this is Chris with Live Life Outdoors, and I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, the fire control group in an AR-308. Now in order to do that, you'll obviously need these parts. You'll need the trigger, the hammer, the trigger spring, the hammer spring, the disconnector, the trigger and hammer pins, and the disconnector spring. Now the important thing to remember on the spring is this is the one that flares out on the bottom, so it's actually a larger diameter on the bottom than it is on the top. And if you haven't already done it yet, uh, it's actually easier if you install the uh, safety during this step as well. Now we're going to start with the trigger assembly comprising of these parts. So first, start with your trigger and your trigger spring. And you're essentially going to want it looking like this. So go ahead and just put that on. Just like that. Next, you're going to take the spring. Now, this is the spring obviously with the larger diameter on the bottom and that goes into right here. Let's go ahead and put that into place. So take your uh, trigger with the spring on there and then take your disconnector and then just put it right into place like that. Now some people like to install these separately. You can do whatever uh, you'd like. I just like to do them at the same time. So go ahead and put that into position in the receiver. Then line it up with this hole here. And to help it kind of keep into place, just put a punch in there just to kind of line everything up, keep it into place. And then you can take your uh, trigger pin and put that on in. Then take your hammer and the hammer spring and essentially you're going to want it uh, looking about in this orientation there. So go ahead and put that on. Careful not to pinch your fingers. And there you go, it should look just like that. Then take your safety selector, go ahead and put that into place. Don't worry about the spring yet. Take your hammer and you're going to start it behind this pin just so that spring can get under tension and then slide it into place so this hole lines up with this hole here and it will be under tension so do it carefully once that's lined up go ahead and put your hammer pin in now I don't have a non-marring hammer so I've taken this really small hammer and I put a few layers of tape on there just to hopefully prevent any scratching and you can go ahead and tap that in. Perfect, no scratches. So once that's in place you can go ahead and test it. And go ahead and test the safety as well. And without the spring, you kind of have to hold it in place. And it works just fine.